This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm getting into some more Terminal 101. It's time for some more Linux terminal foo. So last time on Hack Tip, I checked out a few simple commands, CD for changing the directory and LS to list files, to name a few. This week, let's delve a little bit deeper, shall we? I'm pretty new to the Linux side of things, after several years of using Windows, shut up, I'm branching out and teaching myself how to use this totally awesome operating system. Yeah, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm like, okay, yeah, Linux is awesome. So back to the terminal. So when I list files, if I want to see what kind of file types they are, I can type in this thing called file. It's file pick if, for example, I want to see what this pick file is over here. Obviously, I know what it is already, it's a JPEG, but if I didn't know, it would tell me right here, pick J JPEG image data JFIF standard 1.0.1. .1. Yeah, whatever that means. Then there is a built-in program called less. Less lets you view text files in the terminal by typing less and the file name. So for example, I can type in less and then pineapple. And it shows me the text file that is inside this little pineapple document right there. Of course, it's something like super easy. And I type Q to quit out of there and clear to clear all that memo jumbo. While in the less program, you can use some other helpful commands to move around. And you can always type less tac tac help for all of those listed commands. There are several built in programs similar to less that make it a lot easier to use the terminal. And this is just one of the many that you can choose from. Now that you know how to move around and view text files, you have the ability to explore your Linux system in more depth. We'll check out a little bit more file manipulation right after the break. Carbonite protects your pictures and your other files from a computer crash, a fire, theft, or when you accidentally delete a file by automatically and continually backing up your files and keeping them securely off-site. You'll never have to remember to back up again. Whether you have one or two computers at home or several computers at your small business, Carbonite is the better backup plan. Over 1 million customers trust Carbonite to protect their home and their small business computer files with plans starting at just 59 bucks a year. That's like super cheap. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code HAK5 and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is HAK5. We're back, so let's manipulate some files. We can move, copy, remove, rename files and directories, and we can also make directories as well. We already know back from one of my previous hack tips how to make a directory with MKDIR, directory name, whatever that might be. Now, I wanna copy this photo into my new directory. And this is the pick right here, so we know that its name is pick, MKDIR folder one, CP, pick, and then folder one, and that should copy it into my folder one. There it is, yep, got it. Yay, it worked. Now another thing I can do is I can type cp pick, and then I can make another copy right in the same directory by typing in pick one or whatever, I want the second one to be named, hit enter, and then it appears right there. Super easy and awesome. Remember, you can also type tac tac help to find out all the other options, any of those tac options that you want to use for copy. Now, if you want to move a file, type mv and then file one and then file two, and you can also move the file to another directory by typing mv pick documents or whatever the file is called. So, for example, mv, I want to move my pick file to pick one. And if I do that, it'll move all the data to pick one. And if I want to move that file again, I can move it into the documents folder or I'll do, um, I'll move it into my pictures folder because yeah, that makes sense. So move pick one to pictures, hit enter. And if I click in here, there it is, pick one. Of course, I could also change my directory to pictures, of course. Oh. 
There it is, pick one, ha 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 ha. Okay, so let's go back into my normal one and clear out of that so we can get started on the next option in command. Now, if you wanna remove a file or a directory, you can type rm and then the file, but be careful. If you want to use a wildcard, like an asterisk, for example, to delete all of the JPEGs in a folder, you could type rm space asterisk dot jpeg but don't put a space between the little star and the dot jpeg or the rm command will try to delete everything and then it's going to tell you that there isn't any file called jpeg now next time on hack tip i'll talk a little bit more about wildcards and i'll discuss what the heck it means to create links what the heck are those now, how did you guys le learn the terminal? There are tons of handy websites out there that go really into detail about how to use it. Tell me what your favorites are in the comments below, or you can email me tips at hack5.org, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust.